All right, so let's go ahead and solve for each specified variable in all these problems. So starting off with 23, and we'll work all the way down. So if we want to solve for r in this case, what we want to do is r is on the right side of the equation. We want to divide through by n and t. So essentially what we're going to end up with here is big R is equal to PV divided by NT. 24. So what we're going to do here, solve for little m. If you notice, even though G is separate from this equation, you write it like this, but you can treat G, since it's multiplication, as GM capital M. So what we're going to do here is first we need to multiply both sides by R squared. So we get r squared over here, and then what we're going to do is divide through by big G and little m, or and big M. So what we're going to have is little m is equal to big F, or well F, um, times r squared divided by big G and big M. Okay. All right. So resistance. So parallel circuits here. We want to solve for r1. We can cross multiply, well, what we can do here is common denominator. So our common denominator is going to be um, R, R1, R2. So what's going to happen here is we end up with um, R1, R2, R, R2, and then R, R1. And you have this on the, you have R, R, R1, R2 in the denominator of each of these. So that means you can drop them all. So what you end up with is just r1, r2 is equal to r, r2 plus r, r1. And we want r1. So get all the r1s on one side. I wish I had more paper to work with. Um, And then what you do is you have R1 is equal to R, R2 divided by R2 minus R. It's for 25. Okay. So for this one, all we gonna do, all we need to do here is solve for W. So we have 2W is equal to P minus 2L divide through by 2. So you essentially have W is equal to quantity P minus 2L divided by 2. All right, so for 27, solve for X. So what we'll do here is we'll have multiply both sides by CX plus D. And then move all the X terms on one side so we have AX minus 2CX plus B, or we'll have, well, equals 2D minus B. Um, and then factor out the X, so we have quantity X is equal to 2D minus B divided by A minus 2C. There you go. All right, 28. These are just a little bit more complicated, so... So we're solving for x, so just distribute slowly. So b minus 3c plus, because you distribute the minus 2, the, the minus sign also. a minus 2b plus 6c minus, just got to be careful about that, 6x equals 6. All right, so move everything to the other side. Actually, I'll just move this. We'll do this. This becomes minus 6. This becomes 6x. All right, and then just divide through by 6. So depending on how you want to do this, x is going to be equal to... There you go. All right, so 29. So
solve for x. All these terms have an x in them, so we have a squared minus a minus 1. And we end up with x is equal to 1 minus a over a squared minus a minus 1. And now, so we solve for a for this one, the common denominator is going to be um, ab, so we're going to have a squared plus a equals a squared minus a plus b squared plus b. And the reason that happens is because each of these has a, b under it. If we do that then, oops, a, b, a, b, and then it's just you can cancel them all, cancel out the denominator, denominators because they share, share um, since they share them, and then we just factored in for the numerator to get the common denominator. So what's going to happen now is subtract a plus a, so this these cancel out, we get 2a is equal to b squared plus b. Uh, we're solving for a, so a just becomes um, a is equal to b squared plus b divided by 2. That's it. Okay, cool. Sweet. I hope this helped you out. I hope there's a problem in here that helped you out, and I appreciate you watching this video, and I will see you next time.